I don't necessarily like to position art above other fields, but I like to look at, at, at what it is unique, what is uniquely in the art world. And I think what art uniquely does is it allows a structure by which we can look at the world and look at um, relationships and introduce and inject questions that may not be brought up in other fields. And I see artists in that way working in partnership with everyone else on the planet that by being able to open up, if you're lucky as an artist, to be able to open up the dialogue, um, then you invite everybody else to come into that dialogue and everybody else can then in their own ways respond, whether that's enact policy and laws, whether that's think about the human body in a different way and therefore look at medicine differently, whether it's to look at um, our relationship with the things that we create in technology differently. I think art and philosophy are very intertwined and and art uses different languages, visual, sound, you know, things that um, affect the heart, affect us as a whole human being to experience these questions in a way that, that may not always be necessarily cognitive, may not necessarily be academic, but nevertheless very much impact us and make us feel and make us think. Um, and in that front, I think images and stories, you know, there's a reason why these have continued throughout the entire course of humanity. And that is because I think it's through stories that we connect to ideas and we connect to um, issues because suddenly they're not abstractions necessarily. Suddenly we can connect to um, a character a person, an image, um, in a way that, that makes us personally feel and therefore personally connect and, and therefore hopefully personally take action.